What's up guys, this is Nick with the Elite Reef, and on today's video I'm going to be doing an unboxing on the Kessel A160WE. I do have three of these lights, um, they're all brand new unopened, but I am just going to stick to opening one, they're, they're obviously all the same. Um, and then later on in the video, I will be comparing this to the old Kessel A150W, um, and you can see the, little, the differences between the two of them. So let's get started. Little slits here. All right, so as you can see, there's the light. Really, really sleek, slick looking light. I love this shorter cord. I'll compare it to the old 150, um, but this is a lot nicer. It's gonna obviously plug into uh, the male end that'll go into the wall. But this, the old 150, I can't remember how long it was, but that cord was a few feet long. This is nice and short there. You got a quick owner's manual and setup guide, maintenance, uh, a warranty card that I believe you could send into Kessel. Then inside the box, you've got your little adapter for the gooseneck or if you're gonna hang it to the ceiling, um, you've got that as well. These little mounting kits here, mounting brackets. Um, so that's what's in the box. You've got your cord, your light, your ceiling kit and your gooseneck kit along with this adapter. What's really nice about this light is it's tunable with the color and intensity just like the 350 and the 360. The old 150 did not have this so this is really, really nice. Before it was the 10K, the 15K, and the 20K, I believe. It was like the sky blue, ocean blue, deep ocean blue. I, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not 100% sure. But there was three versions of the 150. This one, you can tune it to any color that you want, any spectrum, and this is super, super nice. This is was a big selling point for me. Another reason I really like Kessel is they design and develop their own LEDs in-house. All other LED manufacturers do not. Um, you know, from Ecotech to Aqua Illumination, there are, most of those good brands are using Cree LEDs, but they're all the same LEDs. Kessel is specifically designing their LEDs for aquariums, and they're not using third-party source for their LED lights. They're actually designing them in-house, and they're owned by a company called Daikon, which is a huge, huge light company. So they have the resources to research and develop the best light that's going to produce the best coral growth. And I, you know, I'm a fan of other LED lights. I, I know they work, and I know they grow coral, but their ability to research and develop and make LED lights specific for the uh, aquarium. So I really, really like that. Let's go ahead and compare this to the old A150W. So here's the old A150W. As you can see, the cord is just, it's a mess. It's so long. Um, and if you ever wanted to unhook this from your gooseneck and clean it or do maintenance, it was a pain because this was wrapped around your gooseneck and it took forever to get this off and then you'd have to redo it, it was just a pain. This, on the other hand, is super short. You could just unplug it, unscrew your light, and, and go ahead and maintenance it or clean it or, or do whatever you want with it. So that's a big upgrade, I think, in addition, obviously, to the uh, the, the intensity and, and color swatches that you can change there. Um, they're about the same size. I would say there's not much difference in size there. This is obviously the 150W. This is the 160. This one's obviously been used. Um, but... It's, it, they, look, they look pretty much the same except for the cord length and then the adjustable knobs on the top. This one also works with their Kessel Spectral Controller. Uh, this one I do not believe does. So that's really nice that this is tunable. Thanks again for watching guys. There is going to be another video related to these Kessel lights. I'm not sure if I'm going to add them to the, my T5 fixture and use them as supplemental or use the gooseneck and and have them just on their own so be sure to subscribe like the video comment i like interacting with all of you guys with questions uh, thanks for watching and i hope you subscribe